Hey y'all, I'm Val with Our Forever Farm. Today we're making cinnamon rolls from the dough we made on the last video. I'm very excited. Y'all see my shirt? I'll show you a closer look in a minute. But I'm gonna get busy on these. I'm gonna make enough to freeze just in case I didn't tell you. Let's get to cooking. So I was laying my clothes out to, for today and I wanted to show you a t-shirt that I got for a gift. And I want you to just look at all these beautiful Bible verses. I am. You know, something I struggle with is confidence. Now, you may see me in front of the camera being fine, and you think I'm a confident person, but I'm not. But look at all this. This tells us we are created. We're strong. We're amazing. We're capable. We're chosen. We're never alone. We're always loved. We're beautiful. Victorious. And we are enough. I am. This shirt says it all. Philippians 4.13 is probably my favorite verse in the Bible. Thank you, Kathy. This meant so much to me. You'll never know. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll our dough out into rectangles. And I'm going to separate my dough into two sections. So once again, it seems like we're doing this over and over. I am just going to put some flour on a work surface. You can do it on a cutting board. You can do it on your countertop. Just make sure it's very clean. I need to also put, I about forgot this, a big pile of it here to keep my hands floured. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to, let's see if I can fix this where you can see this. So, I've just got this on a uh, plastic wrap that it came out of. Let me see if I can find my, my little, what do you call this? A, something scraper. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut this dough in half to make it easier to use. And I'm gonna make two different batches of cinnamon rolls because I wanna freeze some. And let's work with this small little ball. And again, we're doing the same thing we did before. We're just gonna work it, just knead it a little bit until it feels good. So just in case you missed the last video, I'm gonna link that in the description box. It's showing you how to make this dough. Again, this dough can stay in the refrigerator for up to four days. I have actually left it a week before and it's, been, it's done fine. You can also freeze this dough. What I'm doing here is I'm kneading this dough. I split it in two. I'm gonna freeze half of my cinnamon rolls as you'll see soon. And now I'm kneading it. Yes, you can knead this in a KitchenAid mixer with a dough hook. And the whole point of kneading is to strengthen the gluten in your dough. When you do that, it causes the dough to relax and it's easier to roll if that makes you understand it more. So that's all we're doing here. And you'll see me flatten it out. If it, if it like tightens back up and pulls back, I'll know it needs a little bit more kneading. So here, I'm just trying to flatten this out and see how relaxed this is. And that's what you want is a relaxed dough. And this is not quite there. I'm gonna have to knead it just a little bit more. It doesn't take long. And like I say, you can do this in the mixture, but see how relaxed it is getting there. Needed it, it's relaxed, it's ready to roll. And this is my favorite part, rolling out the dough to get ready to make the cinnamon rolls. Yes, that is a PVC pipe. Sweet Hunter found it out in the woods at the farm and he cleaned it up and fixed it for a dough roller. When I saw it out there, I said, that sure would make a good dough roller. And he surprised me with it. Then a few weeks ago, Huddy, Little Huddy, he marked on it with a food safe marker, wrote his name on it. It still works just fine. 
It's my favorite dough roller, and I have several of them. So here what I'm doing is just rolling out the dough. You're supposed to make it into a rectangle. If you can't make it into a rectangle, it's no big deal. You're still going to end up with cinnamon rolls. But just try to form it into a rectangle, you know, as much as you can. I'm not real picky on that. You want to keep adding just a little bit of flour to keep your dough roller from sticking. And then you'll know when it gets the thickness you want. I'm guessing uh, maybe a quarter inch thick is how how thick I do it. I'm not for sure, but if it'll roll, it'll roll up on the dough roller. You'll know it will roll up as cinnamon rolls. Now I'm adding my brown sugar to a bowl. The exact measurements will be in the description box. Now we're adding our cinnamon to the brown sugar. I think it's two and a half tablespoons, but double check me on that. And now we're using half a stick of melted butter and we're adding that to the mixture. There are many ways that you can do this filling. You can spread soft butter on your dough and then sprinkle the brown sugar and cinnamon on it and then roll them right up. It would work fine. Right here, I'm just mixing it up. All I'm doing here is just spreading it over the dough. I do leave a little bit around the edges without the filling on it. But as you can see, I'm just spreading it on real simply. Sometimes I overfill them. I did the last time I made them. I'm probably going to do it now, but it's still good. Now, although rolling the dough is my favorite part, this is the fun part, rolling these cinnamon rolls up. Look at this, it's rolling so good. If it does stick to the counter or something, just, or your fingers, just put a little flour on your fingers, roll it right up. Isn't that beautiful? Look how good that's rolling up. Now, if you do feel like at the end, you've got a little too much filling, just take your spoon and just, you know, just get the filling out it'll be fine just set it aside now at the end some people like to take water and pressure seams together this dough works so good i don't even fool with that i do cut the ends off just to make them even and you can cut that you can cook those too but i usually don't and then I'm just cutting it in half, and then I cut it in half again. And then I'm going to make my cinnamon rolls about two inches, an inch and a half to two inches uh, high. So if you are smart, you will use parchment paper. Just a little advice there. I put a little oil underneath it, and I put a little bit on top, and uh, it saves for washing a lot of pans. So here I'm just cutting my cinnamon rolls. I want them to be, again, like I said, an inch and a half to two inches tall. I have my oven preheating to 350. I believe the recipe calls for 375, but through experience, I know that I need to have my oven on 350 or the bottoms get crusty. Every oven is different. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover these up and I'm gonna set these and let these rest because we've been working this dough. I'm gonna clean up my mess. I'm gonna do another batch of them for the freezer. And we're just gonna let these rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm gonna cover them up and just set them on the counter.
total rise time for these would be, like if you pulled them right out of the refrigerator, it'd be about an hour. So I'm gonna package this up, I'm gonna cover it up, and you can see the size of them. We're not gonna let them rise now. We'll let them rise when they come out of the freezer whenever we want them. So there's a breakfast right there. Now, well, I thought I had my, my counter cleaned off, but I don't. So I wanna show you the difference now, keep in mind that I laid that dough out uh, while I was taking a shower, so that dough had already laid out about 30 minutes before I made it. But I wanna show you the difference in these that I just made that haven't rose, and these that has only been like 15 minutes and they're already rose up. So, my oven is just about ready. I'm probably gonna let these sit about another five minutes. So. Keep in mind, total rise time when you pull them out of the freezer and or, and or refrigerator. Now you need to thaw them out first if you pull them out of the freezer. But total rise time would be 45 minutes to an hour after that. These, remember, I had let the dough sit out. So the dough had already risen some. And so that cut that time down. So 15, 20 minutes if you do that. These are going in the freezer. Now, there's all kinds of cinnamon roll recipes out there, and I make several different kinds myself. But the special thing about this is the dough, the basic dough. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the oven. The recipe, the recipe says to bake them at 40 to 45 minutes. I'm not sure it'll take that long but I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350. The recipe also says 375, but mine got a little bit crusty. The pan was hard to clean without parchment paper, so I suggest parchment paper. So I'm gonna put these in the oven, and then we're gonna make the glaze. Cream cheese icing, you don't have to make that. It calls for one quarter cup of softened butter. And I set my butter out this morning and I'm gonna put that in the pan, or in the bowl. <laughs> and then my icing calls for half of a block of cream cheese, and I made cinnamon rolls about mm, a week or so ago, and so I have this left over, so I'm just, and it's softened, it's been sitting out since before my shower, so I'm gonna add that. Now you want to watch your cinnamon rolls really close because like I say, the recipe says cook for 40 to 45 minutes, but every oven is different. And the recipe also says 375, but I cooked them on 375 the other day and that was too much. It browned in my oven on the bottom, not the top so much. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add confectioner sugar. Let's see how much we're supposed to add. We're gonna add one cup of confectioner sugar. And this is two thirds, I'm just gonna guess at it. We love confectioner sugar. Sweet Hunter loves it. When he goes to a restaurant and orders French toast or even here at home, he always orders extra powdered sugar. So next we're adding vanilla flavoring. If you didn't see my video where I made homemade vanilla flavoring, you need to watch it. This has turned out so good. It took a lot longer than what I thought to cure, but um, it's very good. It's been almost a year now, and it's just now getting to the point. This one actually has the beans still in it, which some people leave them in, some people don't. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon. Let's see how much. Yeah, a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. A little more here or there won't hurt, right? You can use a mixer to mix this up with. You can use a fork or you can use a whisk. I'm just gonna whisk it by hand real quick. And then it's just gonna sit till my cinnamon rolls get done. So if I know Sweet Hunter, he's downstairs starving to death. All he's had today is coffee. And it's getting close to lunchtime. But I wanted to get these done, and there's a process. You have to let them rise, you have to make them, you have to roll them, you have to do the icing, and you have to cook them. You know, it's well worth it. It's so easy. I want you to try this dough. 
we're going to be doing a lot more things with this dough. The next few videos, that's what I'm going to be doing because uh, it's so neat that you can have this in the freezer, just lay it out in the morning and thaw it out and then do whatever you want. I made a pizza the other night. I'll show you how I did that. Very easy, simple. Um, there's so much you can do with it. And there's things I'm gonna try in the future that a lot of people haven't tried. Now, I looked this up on the internet. People call this, um, some people call it Russian. I think it's Russian dough. A little bit, a little bit of a variation. They use block yeast and a couple of eggs, uh, which in this batch I actually think I did use two eggs. Uh, you can use one, two, or none. Uh, just fix it how you want to fix it up. Uh, people call it crazy dough. Um, what's the other word? Miracle dough. Uh, there's several different. I have no idea who came up with it or I would give them credit. I probably will list in the description box several of the people that I saw on Pinterest uh, that have named it different things that have a little bit of variation, but I'm going to put the basic recipe in the description box for you as I always do along with other things. Okay, y'all, I have got the uh, breakfast dishes done. And I'm going to show you this. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all that. So I'm gonna let this cool before I put the icing on and then I'm gonna take Sweet Hunter one. Oh, it looks so good. My goodness. I might have put just a little more filling than needed to be in there, but it'll just make it better. So 350 work for me, icing tree. This is gonna cool and then I'm gonna go outside to help him. So I got us two on the plate. I want them to cool faster where I can get down there and help him work or he's gonna mess up his back. He's also not feeling good with a sinus infection, but <clears throat> so I'm gonna let these cool just a minute. I'm dying to put the ice on. So it hadn't been 20 minutes, but y'all, I just can't wait. I wanna go down there to the dock with my sweet hunter and I wanna eat a cinnamon roll so bad. So we'll see how this works out. See if it melts too fast. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Don't that look good? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, ice these real quick. Just remember, this is a basic dough that makes a lot of different things. I don't know what video's gonna be next, but it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna just take just a little bite while I'm up here. It's still very, very hot. But look at that. Look how good that looks. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. 350. Don't put as much filling inside of it. It'll be great. I'll go cook something.